Now taking a look at, I don't know how to say this properly, but Takia or Takaya or Takaya um, or Takia, that's also possible. Uh, so I just want to uh, notice here that I also see that they have Shopify. I don't know if they're headless or not, but it does seem like quite a unique uh, template. So I'm not sure. It could be, could be headless, not sure. Um, not really that important for, for the sake of this, but I will jump now into the collection page and uh, we could see some recommendations. So as I land here, um, one of the first things I, I wanted to suggest is around filtering and sorting functionality. So we really want people to keep, to have a really easy time finding the exact product that they want. You know, there are, there are a few products, so just making it really, really easy with a few bit of filter could be valuable. Um, I saw that you already have the bottle size. That's great. And you also have the color, which is also great. Uh, although it is kind of hidden here to a certain degree. Uh, another thing that I would have suggested is adding features to this. So I don't know if the, that technology that you have, that chill lock lid technology is implemented on all of these, in all these products, or if they're not, that's something that if they aren't, then you can kind of have a filter for that. Um, but another one here that that is definitely, is, is a definite filter to add is is actually the activity type so is this a product that's better for hiking is it better for yoga is it better for uh, running uh you get the idea so having a filter where i can actually do that can help me just kind of quickly drill this down a bit um, another idea that i have here is a quick view feature so implementing a quick view button that actually allows users to to see the essential product details see the the main features the price the reviews without actually leaving the collection page uh, that can really help speed up that shopping process. So I can just kind of click on, you know, hover over this. There's a could be a little quick view. I click it, there'll be a pop up, and it'll just give me kind of the basic information. Uh, I will admit, I love, love, love these little gifts that you guys have uh, when I do hover over a product. I think that's really, really cool. Um, okay, so moving on, um, the next topic I want to talk about is limited time offers and scarcity. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so this is where I would suggest to use, you know, some kind of an urgency inducing elements like a countdown timer, uh, or a low stock indicator for a product that might almost be out of stock or anything where, you know, it has like, for example, here of 21% off, you know, having kind of something that, that ties that to a time period can make that discount you're already giving a lot more effective, right? Limited offer only seven left in stock, things like that. Those types of messages can make people feel that something is scarce, it's limited, and I, I need to take action. Now, I want to move into the product page. And for here, um, I, I had an idea which is pretty outside the box, but I figured why not. Uh, so the first idea I had is some kind of like augmented reality experience. So basically implementing a feature that allows users to actually virtually place the water bottle in their environment through their phone, through their phone camera, so that I can actually see, like get a good sense of the bottle size, you know, how, see how it might fit like different scenarios, like my car cup holder or like a gym bag or like, I don't know, next to something else, next to like a bottle or something that they already have. So they can kind of see the size. Uh, I haven't really seen anyone else do something like that. I think it'd be really, really cool. Um, and just, I also think it has a really strong branding effect. You could probably even make PR around that for, for that matter. Um, but yeah, so moving, moving onwards to the next idea, uh, dynamic pricing or bundle offers. So implementing some kind of dynamic pricing strategy where the price per bottle actually will decrease if I buy in bulk. I see that you have bundles, uh, but they're like cross sell bundles. One of the suggestions that I wanted to make here is, is actually implementing, like same product bundles. Maybe it's something you've tried before, maybe not. Um, but something like, you know, 10% discount if I buy two bottles, 20% if I buy three. And then have making sure that those are clearly, clearly highlighted near the add to cart button. It seems like your other bundles are, and I also wouldn't suggest adding another set of bundles. So I'd, I'd actually suggest testing uh, the bundles that I mentioned against these and seeing what is more effective for you. Another thing is around customization options. So again, it would be really, really cool if I had the ability to personalize my water bottle, I'll add maybe custom text or graphics. It could be like my name or motivational quote or even maybe like even a company logo if I want to make a bulk order and I'm a company. So that would be really neat if there could be something like that. You could have next to the add to cart, you can have a little customize your bottle uh, button and that can, you, know, you can click on that and it will add maybe an extra field. 
Um, I know that could add some complexity to production, but I also think that there's a lot of value in that as well, particularly for actually those bulk orders. Um, so yeah, something else I wanted to mention. Uh, now I'm going to add to cart. We're going to jump over to the cart uh, and I'm going to remove because uh, I was looking at this earlier. So one thing I would do here is, you know, as an example, this is $21.99. It was $27.99. I've saved $6, but there's nothing here that really indicates my savings. And so one of the first suggestions I had was that this subtitle should so should show $27.99, but then there should be an extra line about line item that says, you know, you are saving or saving in this order $6 just to kind of highlight and reinforce the value of that particular purchase. So they're willing to go finalize it right now and not kind of delay on it. Another thing I wanted to add is a mini upsell. So before the customer actually proceeding to check out, you can offer some kind of small lower price items that lower price item that, that complements the purchase. It could be like a specialized bottle cleaner or like an extra lid with a different design. Something that's like really, really easy to add to, to the cart without leaving the checkout process. So this shouldn't be something that requires research. Um, like I said, a bottle cleaner doesn't really require research. Like an extra lid with a different design doesn't really require research, just the ability to see the, the design. And another thing I would add here too are security and trust badges. Obviously, that's just something that helps, just helps in general, like reassure the customers about the safety of their data and also helps them feel a bit more comfortable about completing the purchase. And so just having that there and displaying it, it just has like this subtle um, subconscious effect, I would say. And now that is it with, uh, with this particular uh, brand.